I've set up a DHCP scope on my server, and what I'd like to do is to set up a reservation. The reason you'd like to set up reservations in your network sometimes is if you have a device such as a printer where every time it restarts, you want it to always have the same IP address. Now, you can certainly statically set that IP address on that printer, but if you wanted to make a change, such as editing the DNS server, then you'll have to go in and manually do that to every printer, and you might have dozens of printers in your office. So reservations are really the best way to go. So I'm going to right-click on Reservations and choose a new reservation. Now, I'm going to choose a reservation for a device that's already in my DHCP scope. So let's go back into Leases. I've got 230 and 231 already receiving an IP address. I'm going to say that dot .230 is a device that I always want to be at 230 every time it restarts. So I can do that very quickly with a reservation. So I'll go back to my new reservation and I'll say this is my device. It's a QNAP device, which is a storage device. And I'm going to say it's supposed to always be at 230. So that way I can always easily find it. Now I need to know the MAC address. This is the hardware address that gets burned into every device when it's created. So if I open up a command prompt, then I can find out what that MAC address is. First, I have to ping the device in order for the MAC address to show up in my cache. So I'll type in ping 192.168.21.230. And so I'm getting a response. It doesn't matter if you don't get a response. It will still show up in your cache. And this is the command you do to show up in your cache. You type in ARP space minus A. Now, it's possible there might be a lot of different responses. So you can also put in a pipe that you see here, followed by the word more. And that way it'll only go one page at a time. Now I only have one page, so in my case it didn't help, but it might help you. So here's my .230 address, and this is the MAC address that's assigned to it when it was created. I'm going to go ahead and copy that MAC address, and I'm going to paste it into my MAC address field. You can also put in a description if you'd like, and the supported types by default are both DHCP and BootP. BootP devices are no longer being created, however, there still might be some on your network, so it doesn't hurt to just go ahead and leave it set to both. Next, I'll click Add, and now I can click Close, unless I need to set up another reservation, and now that reservation has shown up in my reservation list. So I double click on it and it also shows me other information such as the router, the DNS server, and the domain name, which it grabbed from my scope options that you see here. So now we can see the reservation is active and all the different IP information that goes along with it. So that is how we set up a DHCP reservation in our Windows 2022 server.